Welcome to Angling News Week. I'm joined today by Steve Cullen from Total Fly Fishing Magazine. And he's answered me a few questions which you can see in the interview on this page, but I've got a few further, slightly more wacky questions for Steve. So I'm going to start by asking you the strangest thing you've ever caught a fish on. Fly wise? Well, it can be anything. It doesn't have to be a fly, it could be coarse or sea. When I was first getting into fly fishing, I was a very young boy. I seen a man doing it on the river TV. I lived with my granny at the time. Um, up until that stage, I must have been about eight or nine, but I was using worms a lot. Right. I got a worm hook and a feather from my pillow and my granny's darning thread, and I actually lashed a feather from my pillow to my worm hook and then put her nail varnish on it. I caught a fish on that, but I did have a big brown and one one at the same time. <laughs> so so that's like a homemade was... fly worm combo. That's it, that's it. Love cocktail. Is that what you boys call it? Cocktail. Yeah, yeah, it was a cocktail bait. And the next question, what's the weirdest thing you've ever caught in terms of a, a fish species? Turtle. Where was that? That was in Cuba. That's incredible. Yeah, that was in fly. Actually, they're snapping turtles. I just, probably about half an hour prior to that, I took a silky shark. It's probably about 80 pound, huge, massive thing. Um, and it came back, it was a mid slack, it was fly back. And the guy was pulling us along, and we seen a turtle. Is it turtle, tortoise? Tortoise is Lance Turtle. Mm -hmm. um, and I says, would it take a fly? And he says, yes. But it took it, but their mouths are so hard, it never really took it properly. You, you can't hook and play a turtle. But it took the fly. Definitely. I mean, one of the things I've always wanted to ask you, obviously, coming from Scotland, the fly fishing, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, is a lot better up there. I mean, it must seem a little bit strange coming down here to England where things are a little bit more commercialised, aren't they, a lot of the time. What's the weirdest thing an angler's ever said to you about it all, you know? Can you explain a little bit more the weirdest thing somebody says yeah. to you in Scotland or England or just, the just, difference? Yeah, basically, yeah, about... Um, Nothing really weird, um, but I have been questioned why I came down, but obviously the job was the big sort of forerunner for that. Yeah. But you're right, the fish in Scotland's probably second to an Ireland, maybe it's uh, a close probably easy peaks between Ireland and Scotland for fishing. But um, no, nothing strange, apart from the fact that obviously I've got so many rivers up there. Where I live in rugby, I'm probably two hours away for a decent river. Yeah, yeah. So definitely. nothing weird, but it certainly questions my motives. Yeah, motives for moving down. I mean, obviously, fly fishing as well is very much the pursuit of the rich and famous, isn't it? Not at all. Not really? Not at all. Oh. It's a popular misconception. Everybody thinks it's highfalutin people that go fly fishing. I can assure you, I'm certainly not highfalutin. Just a normal boy from a council estate in Scotland. Um, anybody can pick up a fly with. No. Anybody. Everybody thinks it's this elite pass thing. It's not an elite pass thing. Not at all. Neither is salmon fishing. Not any kind of fly fishing is an elite pass thing. That's really interesting. And what I was going to ask you, the most famous person you've ever been fishing with? I fished with a few famous people. I suppose the most famous fly fish in the UK is Charles Jardine. He's a good friend of mine, and yeah. I've fished with Charles quite a lot. And I can assure you, behind that sort of posh veneer is a man that will catch a fish with any means necessary. Yeah. People say about sort of small flies and dry flies and thin tippet, if big lures and heavy lead lures are required, Charles will use it. Anything yeah. to catch a fish. The most important thing is getting the job done, I suppose, yes. isn't it? Getting it landed. Steve, that's brilliant. Obviously, it's very brief, but it's been great to talk to you. If you want to learn, out, learn more about this great man, check out his magazine, Total Fly Fisher. And uh, thanks again for joining us, Steve. Cheers, Tom. Thank you. Thank you.